Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's go funny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. We really do appreciate. So thank you very much. Hope you guys are doing alright. And may you stay blessed. Find us on Instagram and Facebook as Funny and Jesse. Say hi, we'll say hi back. Our vlogging channel, Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. Big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested I react to hijabi feminist versus Ali Dawa gets heated part one. It's a long video, so I'm going to divide it in three so it can accommodate everyone that doesn't like long videos. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Still in the conversation? I'm still in the conversation. Okay, sister. I've been talking, rambling. I'm losing That's fine, sister. I'm I'm sister, you can lose interest if you like. It is disappointing that a woman who observes the hijab is here, number one, rejecting a hadith. It is disappointing that a man who says that they're a Muslim, you know, yes. and says that they listen to the hadith is using scientific research yes. to justify horniness. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. So, so it's embarrassing, what's it? It's embarrassing that as men, we have a higher sex, sexual drive. And can you imagine we're blamed now? What you men, look, look. religion, that's aib alaykum. Sister, being horny is not aib. It's, it's, uh, that's what Allah said you get married. I used to struggle reading the Quran daily before you instructed, instructed me to download this app. I never knew that this app would have such an impact on people's lives. You can go into the description box, click the link for iOS and Android and build your habit with the Quran right now. Read on equal things equally. Good, do you accept that? Good. So what I'm saying is there's studies that show this and we have Quran and the Sunnah that says that a man's biggest weakness is a woman. Biggest weakness, yeah? Now, I'm giving a scenario so we can understand. I am walking down the road with my wife at night time and a man in a balaclava comes out and pulls out a knife. Is my wife in a vulnerable situation? Yes. What does she require me to do? Protect her. To? Protect her. Protect her. If I run away, what would happen? She would be unprotected. She would call me a coward. You see, okay, let's stop there. I, I haven't finished my point. If I stop there, I haven't finished my point. Now, in her most vulnerable position, I have to do what? I have to be there for her. Do we all accept that? Does anybody have a contention about that? That when my wife is in a situation or be that for any woman, if I see a Muslim woman and there's a guy with a knife, yes, I would step up or any man should step up to defend her. Do we all agree? I agree. Good. So we agree that when a woman is in her most vulnerable place, that she requires a man who is stronger than her to defend her. Good. Now let's go to, one second, my comparison. Let's go to the bedroom now. Now in the bedroom, the man is in his most vulnerable situation when he needs his wife intimately. When a woman says no, she is as good as doing what I would do to my wife if I run away in a fight. No, okay. Do you accept that? No. Good. Now, no, you don't no, 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 you accept no, 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 it? I'm sorry. You don't accept it? No, keep going. No, no, sorry? Keep going. I don't accept it. Keep going. Let's talk about it. No, 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 no. One second. One second. No, one second. What point do you not accept? The fact that she's left in a vulnerable state, her life could be harmed. Yes. Whereas a woman refusing sex to a man is yes. not. It, no, 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 irrelevant. The point is this. No, 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 no,
one of the one of the scenarios, the woman is spiritually sanctioned. If the man runs away as a coward, he's not yeah. being spiritually sanctioned. And I think that was your point, was it not? So why is it a case that in one situation there's a sanction and in the other situation there's a, there isn't? So in a that, societal context, maybe so, the man will be called a coward. But spiritually, he's not being encroached in any way, shape or form. One second. Is he is putting his life on the line. Yes. He's about to die for his wife. One second. One second. My point is, if he doesn't do that, Ali, Ali Dawa, if he, if he doesn't protect his wife in that moment, yeah. will he be sanctioned? <laughs> will he be sanctioned? Yeah, will he be spiritually sanctioned? Of course, he'll be called a coward. No, would he be spiritually, would God be sanctioning him? Well, Allah says in the Quran that men are the maintainers and protectors. He's sinful. He's sinful. He's sinful. He's sinful. Sister, sister. embarrassing from a human to a human. Sister. They do not believe the eye of Allah. Guys, guys, we can't do it. Well, life, we do that. You didn't, you didn't refuse that. You know, okay, am I speaking? Who am I speaking to? Choose. Your choice. Can I, can, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Who do I speak to? Whoever you like. Whoever you like. Okay. Can I just? Can I just? Guys, please. The more we talk, the, like the conversation. Please. Now, I'm telling you something, Aki. If a man doesn't protect and he doesn't provide, he is sinful because Allah tells him men are the maintainers and protectors of women. My job is what? Of course. If I if I don't provide shopping for my house, I don't pay the rent. I am transgressing the rights of my wife. So if I'm getting I'm getting sinful and I'm with my wife, I run away, I'm sinning. You are because you know is it you, you are sinful because sinful. you are the maintainer and protector. Now, okay, please, 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 I'm going to speak to you from now on. Nobody else get involved. Okay, point. okay sister, carry on. No, no, don't anyone speak, sister. I'm speaking to you. Please talk. talk. She made a point. She I made a point, but it was ignored. What's your point, sister? The point is, yes. in Islam, it's very interesting. Can, can, you didn't have a good response to it. You didn't have a good response. No, no, no. Can, Life, yes. Like, yeah, yes. 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 I'm so sorry, but do you see what you're doing here? Let's, okay, you know what? No, 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 no stop. Because no, no. you're, you're doing this again, you're, you're leaving her point. You did this with me. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm addressing the point. Allah, you left the point. You left the point. Uh, the point was, the point was, all of you men, all of you men cannot control your horniness. No problem. That is a hype because you can't control having sex. You should be pure. You should be pure in your Sister, sister, sister. Sister, the Prophet said, I agree. the biggest weakness for a man is not money, it's not a house, it's not a car. Are you speaking for all men? For every single man that walks this earth. Now, um, because we follow Islam, because we follow Islam, we follow what the Messenger of Allah said. So, therefore, and forget that, I can show you studies. Bro, I'm going to read you a study now. No, no, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Not Sheikh Google, it's called Sheikh Study. Yeah, not Google. Yeah, Google Scholar. D yeah, Google Scholar. No problem. You can call me milkshake if you like this well. Strawberry flavor. Yeah, no problem. Now, let's read the study. Sister, 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 please listen. I'm going to read it. Please listen carefully. Yeah. Okay, let's put Quran Sunnah for a side for now. A sex drive. Please listen carefully, sisters. Please. The sisters that belittle a man's sex drive, you can just control it. Let's listen. A sex drive refers to the strength of sexual motivation. Across many different studies and measures, men have been shown to have more frequent, I repeat again, more frequent and more intense sexual desires than women. Understood? Let me carry on. As reflective in spontaneous thoughts about sex, frequency and variety of sexual fantasies, desired frequency of intercourse, desired number of partners, masturbation, liking for various sexual practices, willingness to forgo sex, initiating verses, refusing sex, making sacrifices for sex and other measures. Listen carefully. No contrary. I'll repeat again. N-O, not K-N-O-W. N-O. No contrary. Look, 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 look. Do you see? He's just basically saying, yeah, he talk. No contrary findings indicating stronger sexual motivation among women were found. Now, I'm going to repeat that statement. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. No contrary findings indicating stronger sexual motivation among women were found. Hence, we conclude 
that the male sex drive is stronger than the female sex drive. Last seen. sentence, last sentence, last sentence. The gender differences in sex drive, oh yeah, that's something else. Okay, now, this is a kuffar, non-Muslims, carrying out a study. Now, these two are special cases. No, 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 okay. one second, no, one second. No one second. We said that Thank when you. it's when it's when it's a man the and his Indian wife is it. Wallah. Okay, wallah, you're not sorry, sorry. Please no, allow me. Because no, you know why? Because no, I know, I know, but if I don't make these points, they're gonna jump to that. Please, please. No, no, now, I've quoted a study, not Google. This is a study, I can give you the reference. Now, when a man is in danger, a woman is in danger, all the sisters go, he has to protect. She said, I'd rather die with him than him running away. Socially, one second, natural. one second. No, that's not. No, that's not. That is an aspect of a man to protect his wife. Now, 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 guys, 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 sister, 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 one second. Why is the double standards and why is this hypocrisy? Sister, sister, please. I'm talking to you, sister. Please listen. Why is it? And this is what really annoys me about some sisters, not all. When her life is in danger, he better be there protecting me. I don't care if he has an AK-47. I don't care if he has a pistol. I don't care if he has a knife. You have to defend me. Okay, I'll sacrifice my life and die for you. But when I come to you to bed for intimacy, you can say no to me. And when you say no to me and the angels curse me, Come on, get out of here. Now, please tell me, sister. Please review my points. Now, tell me why is my comparison and the studies I've given wrong? No one said it's wrong. Nobody said they're wrong. Yeah, they could be right since you've got them a corpus collar or whatever you want. Okay, but that does not stop. That does not negate the idea or negate the point that horniness is a feeling that you can control. Yeah. Allah tells you to control it. Lower your gaze when you see a woman, That's a job. even if it's your own woman. You know, if you marry the woman and you're, you're using this hadith and you're like, okay, but it's in the Quran, you're just using that. Seriously? Control yourself against yeah, your wife. Why should a wife control wife themselves against you? It's modern feminism. It's not modern it's feminism. It's akhlaq. Akhlaq. Speaking, speaking. Brothers, please, please. Brothers, brothers. Brothers, did she listen to me when I spoke? Sorry. No, 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 one second, one second. Brothers, did she listen to me when I spoke? Sorry. She was quiet. Okay, then why are we not quiet when she's... I'm sorry. Listen to her, guys. She's making a point. Please listen. Well, it's not nice. She listened to me when I spoke. I know, but Aki, when you do that, the topic goes somewhere else. Okay, let's move Speak, on. Sister. No, 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 carry on. Where's, where's the argument? There you go. Where's, where's, See? The, where's the rebuttal? Okay, because yeah, I said my, my argument oh, are you and I'm waiting. Sister, but tell you know, me okay, you're finished. Continue. I'm not supposed to know. Right, let's continue. Okay, okay, are you finished? Another Wait. thing, another thing is so if, a woman, if a woman yeah. takes off her hijab, she is also cursed by the angels from behind her. Walking within, she is cursed. I don't know the hadith. Can you mention to me? I don't remember recording that. If a woman takes off a hijab, takes off a hijab. Yeah. no, no, I don't know about the hadith that takes off a hijab. I talk about you know, there's a hadith about if she beautifies herself and fragrance and wears heels. That's a different one you're talking about. Yeah, and that's also haram. It doesn't say no hijab. No, no, please. But no, no, it takes. Can you, can you, can you tell? Can you rebuke the point that I made? Let's stick to that. Remind me of a point. Remind me of a point. Okay, the point. Oh, the point. The point. Okay, the point. The point. The point. The point was very clear. Yeah. Sister, sister, are you telling me? Sister, 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 sister. Men. Men do, yeah, he proved that. And that's it. That's all. It doesn't mean that women have to be sanctioned. Brothers, I'm going to have to move away. Wallah, I'm going to have to move away. No, brothers, 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 brothers. We're doing it again. Brothers, brothers. Yeah, Aki, I beg you. Aki, please, man. Aki, is this making? Give Aki, please. I beg you, Wallah. Wallah, may Allah bless you. I love you, but please allow me. There's no doubt. Okay, now, now, now. One second. One second. Sister, sister, sister. If my what? Not my wife. A man's wife wants intimacy. Wallahi al I swear upon the Rabbul Kaaba. If a woman came here today and said, you know what? My wife, my husband is not giving me sex. Wallahi, you guys will cause outrage. Everybody yes, you would. Do that. That's oh, a societal thing, my guy. Then why is it when we. What's it, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it? Check this out, check this out. When a man. Let me see if I'm getting this right. So far, the debate is about whether. Um, Hadiths condemn men not protecting women, whereas women are condemned if they deny their husbands the right to have sex with them. I wish people around were not disturbing. This conversation would have gone... We'll, I mean, as people that are watching would learn so much, you know. Um, I feel like whether we like it or not, there will always be that double standards in the world. Whereas if a man is slacking somewhere it's okay but when a woman slacks this other side 
then there's some sort of punishment you know i don't think women ever go scot free and people around were calling her a feminist maybe because i can't hear everything she's saying but i don't know that's why growing up we should be taught some of these things these are the situations that we should speak about it shouldn't have to be um hard to teach someone that this is how life is this is how not life is and um surprisingly it's coming from someone in a hijab that i feel like there is more to this than just i don't know let's see the rest of the video and i'll comment on the second one that i do we see where this is going